Howdy. Here is animated Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime. As the product name suggests, this is Optimus Prime's original Cybertronian mode, before he takes the form of an Earth truck. The vehicle is a combination of a truck with tank treads at the rear. The whole thing has a futuristic feel to it, particularly due to the design of the cab window and the headlights. The general proportions are good, and the only out-of-place extras are the feet, though they do make the legs fairly obvious. At least it's not the pile of robot parts that some Cybertronian alt forms are. The colour scheme is the typical prime red, blue with yellow accents. But the overall look on this one's quite striking. The silver paint apps help, and the transparent blue cab window is also nice. Yes, I know I'm being observant with the colours, but you want a product to look good, right? For features, the vehicle rolls along on all its wheels. There's also a tab on the head of the axe, which allows for a potential trailer to hook on. Good idea, though I haven't seen any trailers made for this one, official or otherwise. Like Prowl and Jazz, the transformation, while not brain-boiling, is involved and actually quite fun. Placing the roof back on in vehicle mode can be tricky though. The robot mode is very show accurate regarding the colour scheme, paint and mould detailing. Though he lacks the optional mouth plate that the Voyager has, he still has an excellent head sculpt and it helps to separate him from the other Prime figures. The proportions are fairly interesting, particularly with the curvy arms and legs. It fits the style of animated perfectly and adds character too. He truly looks like a capable Autobot leader. He's got some unique weaponry, like Prowl and Jazz. You have the shield, formed from the truck roof. But then you've got the axe. This has optional forms. There's the single bladed axe. The double bladed axe. Or you can split the truck roof and attach it to the blade. The third option looks kinda goofy, but the other two are very cool. A problem I have with my copy is that the axe head keeps falling off. It's because the plastic used for the base is so brittle it's practically cracked. And the superglue method isn't an option here since it will stick the blades together. Finally, his articulation is great. He can move at a lot of points, except for the wrists. And yes, between all that and the axe, many lumberjack poses can be made. In short, if you want an animated prime figure, but can't pop 20 quid for the Voyager, this is your option.